Hi Taurus, welcome to your February reading. We're getting a little bit of a late start, but nothing's ever late. Everything's always right on time. If you're looking for some new comfortable threads to wear, the Love Soul merchandise is in my shop, fearlessintuition.net. You can go there. We also have phone cases. There's stickers. Um, there's a baseball tee. It's pretty cool. And the sweatshirt is amazingly comfortable. It's champion, so of course it's going to be comfortable. So get on over there. Grab it while you can. Um, also, tomorrow I have the Manifesting 101 workshop. If you haven't had a chance to do that, now is the time to do it. I'm not going to be offering this workshop again for quite a while. Um, and this workshop is to help you to genuinely just feel good about life. It's not even about the law of attraction. It's not about um, exactly how to manifest things. It's about how to feel really good in your life right now so you can start manifesting things into your future and dreaming big and stuff like that. So if you haven't had a chance to take that manifesting 101 workshop yet, it's ready. It's there tomorrow. So we're going to go super intuitive this month. We'll talk about the planets as they come up, but we are going to go super, super intuitive. All right. So decisions. There's something about the past that you're trying to, oh, you're trying to see so it is Mercury retrograde. Mercury goes retrograde tomorrow, January 30th, and he will be retrograde until February 21st. And this is going to have a lot to do with how you're relating and speaking to people just like in general, like in the, in the general public and um, just in a really general kind of way. Like how are you presenting yourself and all of that. But um, also, there's something about the past that you're holding on to that you have questions about. And I really need you to listen to your own inner guide. And if you can't hear the words that your inner voice is trying to say to you, um, it's time to get a little bit more quiet. It's time to pull yourself away from the noise. It's time to pull yourself away from the chaos. So we have... The Six of Cups, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Two of Swords, the Empress, the Four of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Okay. Oh, you know when... <laughs> You're, you know when you're at like a crossroads in life and you're sitting there and you're thinking about it like I could go in this direction and it would probably be a little bit tougher for me to go in that direction but it's like a straight shot there. Um, it's not going to take me any more time to get there or I can take the direction that's a little bit longer but it's an easier traveling road. And it doesn't feel so painful and it and you know maybe I'll like meet some new people and I'll get sidetracked and distracted along the way but at least I'll still get to my destination it'll just take a while and then you take that longer road and you get to your destination and you realize all of the stuff that you could have been doing during that time when you were waiting to show up for yourself there are decisions that you need to make because the past is calling you. The past may literally be calling you, like on the phone or texting you or whatever. And you have to make a decision on whether that's the course that you want to take or if you want to blindly, if that's, if you don't want to take that course or if you want to blindly accept the past coming back into your life, and trying to create and build on something that already has a rocky foundation. You know what I mean? Because it seems to me that you're really holding out hope for something to happen for you. And it feels like maybe it's a soulmate vibe. Maybe it's somebody showing up for you. If you want to look into soulmate vibes and stuff like that, um, doing astrology readings, love soul astrology readings, 
and it's not a sinistry reading. It will help you, help guide you to see where maybe you will find your um, divine partner or um, what they might, who that, that what that person might be like. Um, and honestly, this is going to be um, something that, like, that's really something that you're kind of like thinking about right now. Because just having that um, pull to the past or having that um, desire to go back into the past and maybe try that relationship all over again actually means that you may be ready for something much different and something new in your life. And it could be that that past is showing up again because you need to learn the lesson that that past is not the thing that you actually want. What you actually want is to start creating from where you are now. I know that that, I know that it looks, it's like closing that door, right? You got to really close that door. You got to really lock it. You really have to allow yourself to not be curious about what's going on behind that door. I guarantee you, it looks exactly the same, Taurus. It looks exactly the same as it did the last time you opened that door. But your own sense of lack mentality, your own sense of feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like you're not doing enough, feeling like all of those things, that all of that negative self-talk that you have over and over and over again, right? These could also be, this could also be a really healing time for you for childhood stuff. If there are things from your childhood that are coming up right now and you're feeling that healing moment, especially with that full moon in Leo that we just had yesterday, but having those um, moments, those healing moments are going to really help you push forward. But you just have to understand that page of cups with this moon like you literally want something that you can't even grasp, like you can't even see it, you can't even grasp it because it's so dark, right? And your, your desire and your longing and your need for it is overpowering the boundaries that you need to keep for yourself, those healthy, loving boundaries that you need to keep for yourself. So the Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles and really like looking at all of the decisions you're making and all of the situations that you're putting yourself in and all of the people that are around you and being like, is this really the best for me? Is this really the best environment that I'm supposed to be in? Is this really the best place that I should be in? Because at the end of the day, if you're not happy and you're not satisfied and you're not creating abundance for your own self, but you're constantly doing it to keep up with the rat race, or you're constantly doing it to keep up with other people, the more you put yourself out there in that kind of way, the more miserable you're going to be. So take off the blindfold, right? Two of swords. Take off the blindfold and put down the defenses. You don't have to have swords when you're making a decision. You don't have to start cutting people out right away. You don't have to do all of that. What you have to do is start asking yourself, yourself is this for my soul or is this for my ego every time right that's something that i've learned recently to do that because it works if you allow yourself to sit there and get quiet you close your eyes and you say is this person for my soul or is this person for my ego is this situation this work situation is this for my soul or is it just to boost my ego and asking yourself that on a regular basis you learn to trust your intuition a little bit more you learn to trust that soul guidance a little bit more so having judgment on the two of swords it's really time to put down the defensives you don't have to be so defensive and um, it's also really true that other people, not everybody has the worst in mind for you, right? Like they're not, everybody wants to see you miserable because I think that some days it sort of just feels like that. Like everybody's just trying to make the Taurus miserable. So that the Taurus is horribly miserable. Like that's not really what it's about. We have the Empress.
some there is somebody out there for you Taurus and I think that you recognizing uh, the more that you release from the past the easier moving forward and the better that you're going to attract people um, moving forward and trusting your intuition with those people and just genuinely living your life and living your purpose in the way that you want to um, and, and stop trying to find a way to live your purpose. Just start living it. Just start doing it. Just start focusing on that path and give the love back to yourself. That's really where it all starts. So you showing up in your reading as the Empress, the creator, the beginning of life, thank you very much, is huge. And then the Knight of Cups on there, give love back to yourself. Give that guidance that respect, um, the joy, the happiness, the, you know, the affection back to yourself first, Taurus. This isn't about doing for other people all the time. And if you want to do something in your life and you can't figure out a way to do it and all of the reasons have to do with sustainability, that's not love. Why are you trying to sustain a really miserable existence? Why are you trying to sustain something where you constantly feel like you're having to be in defense mode? Right? Having to constantly put up your boundaries. Why, is, why are you allowing the sustainability to look like that? Maybe it's not supposed to look like anything like that. Ten of Pentacles on the Four of Pentacles. Okay. I mean, you could hold on to all of your pennies. You could allow the universe to mold those pennies into more pennies. Just keep on making more and more and more for you. I don't mean pennies, though, right? They're coins, they're dollars, they're Benjamins. That Ten of Pentacles right now is more of a prison for you. Because you think that living your life or doing the things or, or the way that you have to exist on a day-to-day -day basis is supposed to look a certain way. What if you just sold everything and started from scratch? How would that make you feel? What if you went by your intuition and said, it's time to leave the area that you're in and go somewhere else? What if you took a risk and you allowed yourself to just do exactly what you wanted to do without asking yourself how it's going to work out or the way it's going to look or what it's supposed to be? What if you just stopped asking what if and you just allowed the wheel to turn and then it all just started to fall into place and then you'll look back because I know that tort this is how you guys can be sometimes you'll look back and be like why did I waste all that time in that really miserable state of mind thinking that I had to be in this one place or with this one person and because it's comfortable it's my comfort zone this feels really really great. You know, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Man, those daily things that we have to do, that day-to-day um, -day grind, the constant battle of always waking up and our life looking exactly the way that it's supposed to look. What if you shifted that? What if it was something that you just allowed yourself to rest in? You, you stopped trying. Stop trying so, so hard. Stop trying to force things to happen and just relax. Start loving yourself. Start putting the energy into yourself. That doesn't mean that you do the same thing every single day. That means that you start shifting your perspective. You start taking better care of yourself. You ask yourself 
every single morning when you wake up soul shadow shadow aspects and soul what is it that i'm supposed what is it that i can do today to create my ultimate abundance how can i make today the most productive how can i make today the most glorious the most abundant the happiest day how can i do that and then listen and don't argue with it and if it tells you to take the day off from work and go do some fun things that your inner child never got to do do that if it tells you to you know don't take a day off and then just lay all day in bed unless you're reading or unless you're doing something to build your soul up it's the creation part for you guys it's not about hustling anymore it's not about trying i mean yes you can make that dollar by not hustling i promise you it's easy but you have to believe in yourself and I think that that might be the hardest part is believing in yourself but that's what that ace of cups wants from you it just wants you to believe in yourself the more you question your truth the harder it's going to be for you to find the strength to do the things that you really 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 need to do and you really want to create in your life so be really honest with yourself every single excuse that you have to not do that one thing that you want to do every single one of those excuses is invalid i don't care about the sustainability the universe will help you find a way but the longer you allow yourself to sit in that i don't know i don't know i don't know the harder it's going to be to get there baby really really truly and your intuition is just begging you just begging you to listen to it look at all that prosperity you can get look at all this prosperity you can get if you just listen to your intuition and you stop creating distractions and blockages and and all of that stuff for yourself and if you don't even know what it is that you want it's time to get quiet it's time to listen stop trying to do the most not everybody needs you to be there all the time you need to be there for yourself too fair enough i love you guys so so much um i hope that you uh, are doing well i'm excited for you guys to open yourselves up to more possibilities this month so um uh yeah if you would like to get any of the readings that i um talked about or be a part of any of the classes the workshops that are coming up all of that information is in the description box and fearlessintuition.net go to my website all of it's there i love you guys so much i'll see you soon